Hey everyone, welcome back to the Touchboard's Command Center for part two of our Eno board versus Smart Board video. This time we're talking software. So in our first video, we talked about some of the physical differences between the Eno board versus the Smart Board, uh, along with, you know, this one's pen driven versus touch sensitive and what that basically means. And we still get a lot of people asking which one's better. Uh, personally, in my opinion, I think the Eno board gives you unmatched flexibility and ease of use. And the smart board gives you uh, the raw power that uh, your real power users are going to need. Uh, they got the software, and that's what we're here to talk about today. So I'm going to just talk about the Eno board first. So here's our Eno board. Again, this uses a pen, and it comes with software called the Eno app. Now, the Eno app is controlled by this toolbar. This is a magnetic icon strip, or you can call it a toolbar, whatever you want. You can put it anywhere on the board because it's magnetic. And it'll also work in your hand. The pen actually reads uh, printing on this strip. You can barely even see it. And that's how this whole system works. Same printing's on the board. You can also have an on-screen icon strip that would come up on the side, which you can move or put anywhere else you needed if you didn't want to use this actual icon strip. So as I mentioned, everything works off this one icon strip. And here's what we do. Uh, right now it's in mouse mode. So I move the pen around, I can click on things, I can make this link change the web page, I can highlight text. It's controlling the mouse. I can even click back. Uh, there's an icon up top for what's called projection mode, which is what we're in now. Then we have annotation mode. And you just tap that icon, and now I can draw over my screen, right on top of it. We can even whiteboard in here, too. We hit whiteboard mode. So here's whiteboard mode. It's a blank white screen, and we can just write on it and write whatever we want. So just spell out my name. And in whiteboard mode, we can also have multiple pages. So we just hit the arrow button, we make a new page, I already have something written there, but you know we can just keep going. You can even change colors as needed just by tapping on them. Super easy to use, right? In addition to all that, it's an Eno board, so you can write on it with dry erase. It's magnetic, so you can move magnets around on here. You can hang papers and pictures and things. And as you can see, I'm touching this board and nothing's happening. I can throw magnets up, I can have kids put in magnetic numbers and letters. It's not gonna affect the computer at all because it uses a pen. That's one of the big advantages. So, we drew on the screen, what do we do with that? Well, whether we're in whiteboard mode or in desktop annotation mode like this, we have some buttons on our icon strip. We can save locally to the computer. That lets you save as a PDF, an image file, uh, right onto the computer. And then there's cloud storage. So we can save this image, or we can save in whiteboard mode our multiple pages. So everything I wrote on here, we can save that all together. Uh, and you can save those to Dropbox, or Google Drive, or Microsoft OneDrive. The one caveat here is what's in whiteboard mode cannot be saved along with what's in annotation mode. This would be a separate image from this. Not really a big deal for most people, but again, super easy to use. You know, we could just tap these icons to change our modes, change our tools. We're back into mouse mode now. If you wanted to go into whiteboard mode, you just tap on it. There you go. We can pull up different colors, can write an orange, uh, different line thicknesses, and there you have it. It's just a simple tap of the pen and you're done. Real easy to learn, real easy to use, and it's the ultimate in flexibility. As I mentioned, you can put magnets on it, you can write on it with marker, turn your projector off, use it as a dry erase board. You can't do that with any other board. It'll also work with any software that you might be using currently, whether it's a paid software you're using at your company or your school or just some free content you found online. Use it up here. The Eno app does not interfere with anything. You'll still be able to capture screenshots right on top of it. Use it just like you do right now. Again, it's the ultimate in flexibility. So now we're going to take a walk and check out SmartBoard. 
All right, so here we are with our smart board. And here there's two different things we have to talk about. We have smart ink, which is just writing on our screen. I'll show you in a second. And then we have smart notebook software. And that's smart educational software. Since these boards are mainly used by schools, that's what I'm going to show you today. So first is smart ink. Now you might remember with the Eno board, when we wanted to write on top of anything on our screen, we just chose that icon and wrote. Pretty easy, right? But with Smart, we have a little toolbar on the side, and it can be on either side of our screen. We just select our pen, and we start to write. And when you do that, it'll automatically open up this window. And this is our Smart Ink window. As you write, the window will get bigger, so it can accommodate your writing. And I apologize, I'm left-handed, trying to write with my right hand, so it probably doesn't look very good. But as you can see, the window just gets bigger the more you write. So you can just keep going across your whole screen. This window can be transparent, or it can be solid white, or anywhere in between, just like it is here. So just writing notes on your screen is super easy. You can make it totally transparent and see what's behind it. We have this little toolbar up at the top. That's the Smart Ink toolbar. When we click on that, it'll let us change our pen colors, pen styles, go back to mouse cursor, pick a highlighter. We can clear ink. We can capture ink. So if we capture ink, it's going to take everything in this window, and it's going to save it back to our notebook software, which we'll get to in a second. Actually, there it is right now. But something else I wanted to show you was anytime you open any program, Firefox for instance, you're going to see that Smart Ink toolbar right there. So now I'm in Firefox, I pull up a web page, I want to draw on top of it, I can just select my pen and I can start writing. I can just start writing all over my screen and it's going to capture this now on top of the program that I'm writing in. So I can go back here again, I can hit Capture, and it's going to save that image back into Smart Notebook software for me. Another really cool thing is if you're using Microsoft Office, whether it's Word, PowerPoint, Excel, that toolbar will be there. So you can write on top of your Word documents, write on top of your spreadsheets, and you'll then be able to save that back into that original file format. So write on your PowerPoint slide and save it back into PowerPoint. That's something that the Eno board can't do. So I mentioned that we can go ahead and save our uh, notes into note notebook software. So I'm trying to get out of here. Anyway, here's our notebook software. So as you can see, we have our original capture from the desktop, and we have our capture from uh, Firefox here. We can now save these into a variety of file formats. You can save into Smart Notebook format, which will let us come back into it later and edit it. Again, something you can't do with any other software, or most other software anyway. Uh, you can also save as web pages, PDFs, PowerPoint formats, and a variety of image formats. So you've got a lot of flexibility as to what you can do with these images. But let's talk about notebooks since we're in it. Now, Notebook has its own writing tools, which are right up here. So we no longer need the little toolbar from the side. We can just use what's up here. And we can whiteboard. We can draw whatever we want to do, different line styles and thicknesses. We have erasers, so we can just use our eraser, get rid of everything if we wanted to. We have shape tools, make a circle. You can make squares, rectangles, triangles, all kinds of cool stuff. And again, you have all your different colored pens, different styles of pens. It's pretty wild what this software can do. And I can't even scratch the surface of what this can do in this video, but I just want to give you an idea. We have all these different tools and uh, capabilities in here, but where Notebook really shines is what I'm about to show you. It's loaded with content, absolutely loaded with content. So now I want to show you some of the really cool features of Notebook software. Just so you know, this software does have an annual maintenance fee. The first year is free with the purchase of your board, but after that, there is a fee involved. And here's why. Click this little icon over here, pull up your gallery, 
we've got all kinds of stuff in here. When you look at the gallery, there's different folders for subjects. Arts, English, Geography, History, Math, Science, Special Needs, Sports and Recreation. It's all kinds of stuff. And it could be just something as simple as, you know, we'll open up animals, for instance. We've got pictures, interactive and multimedia, and notebook files and pages. So it could be something as simple as a picture of a frog, which we can just drag into our workspace here. Once it's in there, it's an object. So you can do whatever you want with it. Make it bigger, make it smaller, spin it around. You can even draw on it. If I select the pen, you can draw on it. Um, but just to show you, there some of the other stuff. We have interactive and multimedia. Uh, we can have this bear we can drag over here. It's actually got a sound file attached to it, so you could hear a bear. And then notebook files and pages. I mean, this is actually content that was made by Smart or someone else and put in here for teachers to use. And that's one of the reasons why this software is so popular. It's also one of the reasons why it comes at a premium. If we go ahead and scroll down further past our gallery, we get into lesson activity toolkit and lesson activity examples. There's actually an activity creator in this software. It actually lets you create activities. And they give you lots of how-tos on making that stuff. So even if you have no idea how this thing works, in a day or two, you can be making some top quality activities for your students. I'll give you a few examples. Let's start a new page here. Uh, here we go. We have our activity builder, which I just mentioned. Uh, we can go to uh, some interactive techniques. Now, something like this is what I was referring to as an activity. So if we just let this load here. It says, which of these words are verbs? Press the balloons to pop them. So you can actually make something like this yourself. And once it's up here, you can have a student come up and look and say, jump. Well, jump sounds like a verb to me, so I'm going to tap on it. The balloon pops or disappears, and we have a check mark, meaning it's correct. Well, now we can click on car, and the balloon pops, and there's an X, because a car is not a verb. So there you go. <laughs> this software is loaded with stuff like this. Uh, it's all part of it. It's all there for you to use. There's even 3D objects. Now, this is very cool, because you can have something like this here which is a 3D animation of the Earth and the different layers of the Earth. Once it's here in our workspace, we can make it larger, we can spin it around, spin it backwards, you can see the back side, uh, we can make it upside down. You can do all kinds of stuff with these 3D objects. Just really, really cool. And if all that's not enough for you, Smart Exchange, which is available at exchange.smarttech.com, is going to have even more. So when we talk about notebook software and how great it is, this is what everyone's referring to. The content, the lesson creation, and all the tools that are part of it. So just looking at Smart Exchange real quick, you can see this is the browse by subject right here. We've got a lot of subjects. You could browse by grades or file type. And you can look at notebook lessons, smart response questions, uh, notebook widgets and add-ons and dual user lessons and activity packs and all kinds of stuff. It'll take you days to go through this. So that's what I'm talking about when, when I say smart notebook software is really, really powerful. So once again, you might be thinking, you know, we're talking EnoBoard, we're talking SmartBoard. I'm still not sure which one's better. Again, I'll give you my opinion. SmartBoard is fantastic. If you're going to sit there and look at this software and use it to its full potential, you can't be beat. But if you want the ultimate in flexibility and ease of use, definitely check out Eno. And if that's still not enough to convince you to go either way, give us a call. We're here to help answer any questions that you might have. Just call us up at 866-942-6273.